يتطور يا شيخ بولس Say it, I'd like to expound on. I'm gonna do my best to mind the words. I do not want to ruin nothing, mess nothing up. I'm not gonna do something because I'm supposed to do something. Can I tell you I don't ever have to preach? Can I tell you that? Can I tell you I don't ever have to do anything? Good preacher. No. The big preacher preachers, they don't need me saying it. He's stirring our hearts. Right, it's time that we be very sensitive to what God said. <coughs> so I'm going to be a pastor just for a very few minutes. It may be less than this morning. All right? Don't get all used to that. All right. Let me pray. I want, I want God's leadership in everything I say. Father, I need you. I can't, you can't. I fail, you never fail. I'm unfaithful, you're faithful. I'm holy, oh boy, you're holy. I'm no good, you're great in every way. I need you to clear out everything that would be me and only be said for the end of this May the Holy Spirit speak so that he can. In Jesus' name. I mean, this is very careful. It has nothing to do even with the scripture. Forget Second Peter. All right? Forget the text. Forget that. That'll be something else, or maybe just back in archives, whatever you need. We've got needs. I listen to praising, but I hear needs. I listen to what God's doing, and I hear needs. I see. Up there this morning. And uh, God filled me up outside. Because I seen his needs. I come in here this morning. I sit over here in my chair. I look over the congregation. All of the seats. Not just in lost people, but in every bench, in every people, in every place. Look at my own self in the mirror. And I see needs. And then I see blessing. And I see all that God has given us and all that He's doing. And uh, may I tell you, we've got to do some things. We've got to do some things quickly. We've got to do some change. You may listen carefully. I want no one, no one moving. Nobody go to the bathroom until I'm done. I want you to move a muscle. Right. If you look straight at me, don't look down, don't read. If you look straight Okay, everybody all right? Listen carefully. We got some names. Okay, you're a blessing. All right. Just happen to have something wrote down here. There's been 39 saved since January 1st. 39 people saved since January 1st. There was 20, 27 first time visitors today. Yep. I'll tell you that. There's been 118 first time visitors in the past six weeks. 118 first time visitors in the past six weeks. All right. 130 on the buses today. All right. 294 in attendance today, with 29 regulars missing. Today. 29 regulars. Regulars is Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday. Okay? If you're counting the regulars, you're here three times a week. Not your business. No, this people. That was with that many gone. But the needs of the people that's coming, they're not all downstairs. There's a lot of issues upstairs. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. You, you know how easy it is for me to enjoy what's being done? I was reading a 
flip over here and find this I'm going to share with you. Deuteronomy chapter 8 says, Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and are full, and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thy heart be lifted up. Thou forget the Lord thy God who has brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt to the house of bondage, who led, thee, who led thee through the great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, and where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, yeah. <laughs> who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy father knew not, yeah. they might humble thee, that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. Yeah. Thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this way. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get well. Yeah. That he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God. Walk after other gods and serve them and worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As a nation which the Lord destroyed before your face, so shall you perish. Because ye would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. Everything that's going on in the government. Yes. You've got to be careful. We can't waste the opportunity. Are you listening to me? We can't waste the door that's been opened right now. We can't waste it. We need a miracle. We need some miracles. But when you say that, you think you're creating that. Because we really don't believe God just for a little bit. Right about it. Tell you what we need. We've got to start another bus across the river. You can't put 76 people on a 66 passenger bus. You can't do it safely. You can't do it comfortably. You can't do it. We gotta have workers. We gotta split our workers up. We gotta split our teams up. We can't let Chris have another Sunday without a ride. Because Chris is gonna quit. If he don't have riders, he's gonna get discouraged and say, I'm in the wrong place. The devil's gonna beat him up. You're not in the wrong place. Man. Well, now everybody's not cut out for bus work. Everybody's not cut out for junior work, children's church work. Some of us are. Some of us are. Now, we can all pray. We can all give out the gospel. If you're a Christian, you can help visit. If you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, I encourage you to trust Christ with your head. If you're a Christian, you can visit. Everybody don't have to go to Oak Hill to visit. Everybody don't have to go to Little Birch to visit. There's a happens to be an in-town bus. It just so happens there's an in-town bus. Just so happens they the Mount Lebo, Rony Pool, Mount Lookup Bus. Just so happens. Just so happens they the Braxton Bus and Fake County. All right? Everybody all right with that? Jerry, you said a mouthful. You did. You're out there, we gotta get it. You gotta get it quickly. Got to get it quickly. We run out of time. We need a miracle. We need to believe God. I believe we can give you money in need. If he can save the sinner, if he can turn liquor into bread, that's right. and love it, but the steak, if he can turn cocaine into spaghetti dinner, huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
If he can do that, if he can turn a wine bottle uh, into sweet milk, yeah. gallon of milk in the refrigerator for your family, I have no problem knowing that he'll take care of a little meat. Yes. Okay? I have no problem that he can do something with that gal if he wants to, get ready to get married, and then I just want to go and take her home. I don't know what he wants. I just know he does. I also know that we've got to do something about what's going on around here. God's given us opportunities. Church is growing. So we better be careful. We better be careful of what we are, what we do, what we say, how we act. We better be careful. We better be cautious. We better be cautious. We pay attention. We better pay attention to everything that goes on. Right? I'll tell you what else we need to do. We need to make sure that we start doing our part. Now, I'm going to say something. And I'm going to try to say it. I'm going to be as Alvy says as tenderly as I can. Okay? We've got the ability to do everything we need to do. All right? We have it. And everybody don't want it. There's always people that don't cook when you have a meal. That they don't have no problem eating. Yeah. Hey. Just <coughs> when you have a big dinner, you know what we say? I'm busy, there'll be plenty. They'll not notice. <coughs> We're not talking about eating. Okay? I'll tell you what's what's we're obligated to do. Alright. This is not the sermon or nothing from that we had planned. I just can't help but think of the needs. We gotta reach your people. We spend a lot of money. A lot of money goes through this church. Don't stay. Don't stay. <coughs> the employees ain't getting rid. Say that the employees ain't getting it. There's a reason that we are always up again is because people don't tie. People freeze up. Let me tell you what we freeze up. Can I tell you? We froze up two weeks ago on the love because we don't. We froze up last Wednesday on worship because we can't. And we freeze up on money because we're tight. <laughs> they may be misunderstanding that. God got a baseline of tithe. If you don't tithe, there's no need you to pray. No need you to pray. Because God ain't listening to you. regarding iniquity in your heart. Amen. 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 The reason we're having trouble keeping buses running and getting other buses, and vans broke, and everything else because people won't tie. The reason the bathroom ain't finished up there, people can't go to the bathroom and pee. They've got to stand in line. Because we don't tie. Everybody understand? They're playing enough. They're playing enough. Not you can help them. The reason you walk in mad, we ain't got money to buy crap. You know, people won't come on Wednesday night, Sunday night. So you're tired. Don't ever tell me you're tired. That's right. Over here. Right. If you're under 50, you ain't old enough to be tired. You just think you're tired. We got work to do. We got people who need the Lord. Need 
we got to drop every mission. But the missionary is just working in this church right now. That's what we got to do. Because we won't be obedient. And that's what we'll have to do. We'll write our letters to the missionaries and say, you tell your people we quit on them. They ain't going to go to hell. So we got to take care of our people because our people need not be. Our people won't love. That's why our people can't worship. We need to be a Christian. Well, we just tell God we're a Christian. I think I'd be right there. Y'all do what you want. I'm going to pray.